Welcome to the online exhibition of the album of Earthquake Prints in the Royal Ontario Museum's Japanese collection. This project is co-organized by the Japan Foundation Toronto and the ROM. My name is Akiko Takesue, Bishop White Committee Associate Curator of Japanese Art and Culture here at the ROM. Hello and konnichiwa. I am Yuko Shimizu, the Executive Director of the Japan Foundation Toronto. It is my pleasure to welcome you, the viewers of this online exhibition, which we call internally the Catfish Project. I was posted to Toronto five years ago and was supposed to be celebrating 30 years of the Japan Foundation in Canada in 2021. But the pandemic changed all those plans. In spite of many cancellations, some things turned in collaborative directions and the Catfish Project, an online collaboration with the ROM, is no doubt one of the best. As an international cultural exchange agency under the Japanese government, the Japan Foundation Toronto has been conducting collaborative efforts with the ROM closely or indirectly for years. For the inaugural opening of the Crystal in 2007, we had the Hiroshi Sugimoto exhibition. Over the years, a full production of No Theatre was presented at the ROM, in addition to Japanese film screenings, musical performances, a tea ceremony, and ikebana flower arrangements. We are enhancing our fruitful history of partnership to the next level in the cyber universe by presenting this online exhibition. Here's the album. Gwen Adams, East Asian collection technician, is assisting me today. This album was compiled in 1855, right after the big earthquake hit the city of Edo, today's Tokyo. And this album is unique because we have a preface written by the contemporary collector who collected at that time when the earthquake happened. And these prints were collectively called namazue or catfish prints because catfish is associated with earthquake in Japanese folk tales. And these prints function as the source of information what happened after the disaster, but also as a medium for people to express their diverse emotional reactions to the natural disaster and sometimes to satirize the social issues that became apparent after the earthquake, just like today's social media. As you explore these prints, look for prints that are humorous and lively with half-human catfish and layers of parodies, puns, and satires. And this sense of humor helped the Edo people to cope with the sufferings and to make sense of the whole consequences with, as a continuation from nature to human and to society. For example, some people thought the earthquake was meant to happen to mend the social inequity. In this online exhibition, you are going to see how citizens of Edo survived a natural disaster, the Great Ansei Earthquake. Certainly, the attitude and the philosophy were a bit twisted, reflecting the highly matured urban culture of the era. Now, 160 years later, for all of us in the global community, this program will be very exciting. So I encourage you to enjoy it to the fullest. We hope you enjoy and find something new and exciting in this exhibition.